the box for Musashi no Ken Tadaima Shugyochu tells people that it's the Famicom's first competitive game. They're referring to the two-player fighting game mode, something that we've seen several times at this point, so I'm not entirely sure what they were going for with it. I can tell you that Musashi no Ken is hard. After 30 minutes of making no progress, I went, well, surely I must be doing something wrong. But no, all the Japanese sources I could find were mainly complaining about how insanely difficult this game is. So at least I wasn't alone. The title means Sword of Musashi, now training. And as you might guess from that box art, it's based on a popular comic and cartoon. There are about a young boy named Musashi who's going to become the greatest kendo swordsman in the world. So naturally, they're about him undergoing intense training and then fighting in tournaments. Musashi is training to enter the National Kendo Tournament when he turns seven, and he goes through three stages of platforming before he reaches the fighting. On the platforming stages, he needs to collect as many sword icons as possible. They'll let him use those attacks when he reaches the tournament. So if you have 20 of the swords pointing up, then you can high attack 20 times in the tournament. Getting to the tournament is a challenge in itself. You have to complete three side-scrolling stages to get there. You have three lives to do it, and there's no continues. And naturally, it's amazingly lethal. At least you have hit points. You start with 50 of them, though you can get more by collecting bandages or rice balls. The thing is, touching anything does 25 damage. So it's better than nothing, but it's still not great. And the stages have infinitely spawning enemies that come in at random points, and some of them move in ways that are ambiguous. It's really hard to move through this forest of spears falling at you. While you're working your way through the stage, your dog Juichi is also doing the same. And if the dog reaches the end of the stage before you do, then you lose a life. If for some reason you wanted the dog to move slower, on the title screen you can press A, B, and down. It also makes the dog trip. So you have to keep moving. But these are training grounds, and part of that is swinging your sword at just about everything, because something collectible is going to be hidden everywhere. Most of the time there'll be sword swings, but there's other power-ups. The frog will make you jump higher. And the shoes will make you run faster. The shoes are a uh, double-edged sword. They make your movement a bit slippery and you can just go right off into holes. The key is a useful item. Picking it up will move you forward through about half the stage, and as you're flying forward you'll pick up anything that you intersect with. There's one more important pickup to mention. The end of the stage is a pickup as well. You have to collect this G to go on. Weirdly, the platforming and the action for Musashi works pretty well. Better than we've seen in a lot of games. What makes this tough are the sheer flood of infinitely spawning obstacles and the super precise jumping that's required to get through each stage. There are a lot of times where you're going to get hit and there was nothing you could do about it. It does help to keep moving forward though. Spawn points are determined by your horizontal position, so if you keep going forward and get past that, it'll stop the current spawn, though it'll probably run you into another one. Once you make it to the tournament, you have to defeat five opponents to win. And you have to do it with dwindling resources. Keeping your wooden sword out in a neutral position pushes your opponent back and it's useful for setting up a big strike to the head. If you manage to win the Nationals, the game isn't over yet. You have to do the whole thing a second time. To beat the game, you have to win the tournament a second time. I have one more curiosity about Musashi no Ken for you. Apparently there's an infamous trick for it. Bumping the game just right could make Musashi invincible. Even to falling in pits. I gave it a few tries myself and couldn't replicate it, though. I found Musashi no Ken to be intensely frustrating. It actually feels okay in play. 
but everything past those controls and movement is just a bad idea. Collecting sword strikes is not a fun concept. And the level design actively hates people. Musashi no Ken shows promise, and in its own way that's worse than just being outright awful. 